So uh, who's familiar with bad crypto? Yes. Oh my gosh, Two. where have you guys been? You're our people, perfect. Three. Uh, I'm Joel Kahn, this is Travis Wright, and hello, hello. We, we've hosted this show since July of last year. Uh, we got really fortunate, right time, right place, right combination, and, and it's a unicorn. It's one of the top crypto shows, and you guys are going to be part of a live recording that will then go onto the podcast probably, what day is it? Friday? Maybe Sunday's episode. Sunday's episode, yeah. yeah. And it's being video recorded too, and it's going to be appearing on the Alpha Networks, and so we'll tell you more about that. So we're going to do some start-stop like we did would do if we were producing a show for real, but what's going to be different about this is we're going to give some of you guys a chance to participate. So what we need are a show of 10 people that want to give, that are not part of the existing crypto pitch, okay? We're going to do 30-second crypto pitches. So we need 10 people that aren't part of the existing crypto pitch. Raise your hand if you want 30 seconds on stage. Naomi, you're n I'm going to number you, Everybody's okay? Everybody's part of the crypto pitch, so it looks like I'm gonna uh, number that, you guys. that option's you're, not going to work. Remember your number. You're number one. You're number two. You're number three. Who else? Come on, this is a great and opportunity, you know guys. All Lots right, of exposure. there's not as many, so if there are some well, that are on part of this. Wait, wait, first I, I want the ones know, that, are, that might be ones. shy. Let's have some good ones on there. Don't know a lot of people download this podcast. There are four. Uh, so I would encourage anyone who's not pitching, who wants exposure with their pro podcast uh, for their product, to take Five. advantage of this. Sure, sure. You're in. Anything crypto related. And actually, related. if you're one of the cool ones, I don't mind if you. That's just Joel's rule. I don't know what that does. All okay, about. you're five. We got one at the back there. Six. Six. Six, six, five, 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 six, Okay, Boom. we got the sense. So when we call you guys up, the other amazing. thing we're going to do towards the end of the show is the crypto quiz show. Who here knows a lot about the cryptos? A lot. All okay, right, one. you're going to be one of our contestants because he raised his hand. Who else knows <laughs> a lot? Wants to compete in the we crypto got quiz show? We're giving away some stellar lumens. Yeah, we're, we're giving away stellars. We're giving away bad coin. Like the sun is so bright. It is. Seriously, the show's not on yet. Don't worry oh. about it, guys. I won't do that. Come on, who else wants to play and compete? What's the crypto quiz show? We need Number two. Smart. Who knows the crypto? Seth, you, no, no, you're you're already on the show. You where's can't play. Where's virtual growth? See in here. Yeah, where's VG? Somebody shout for VG out there. He would be. He'd be great. Yeah, get you him. Virtual growth. He you want to play? Okay, you're the third contestant. All right, Bryce. It's not the price is nice. right. Okay, perfect. Let's get the show on the road then, and. Uh, Naomi, usually I read the, uh, the teasers, which we do to start the show, and then it goes into music, but Naomi is going to read the teaser that's going to be recorded for this episode. Do I have Just to use my podcast voice? Use whatever it's you want. It's a lot nicer than you my MC voice. You can use your Bitcoin voice. girl voice if you, you like. Yeah. I'll use my Bitcoin girl voice. Whatever. Does that mean I have to yeah, sing so it? BG, have a seat. We'll call you up for Crypto Quiz you in here. a bit. You're going to be part of the Crypto Quiz show, VG. Okay, and when, when I motion you guys, uh, yeah, we there. don't have an applause sign, so just cheer and make a lot of noise. It'll sound really great on the show. All right. And you're just going to read this right here. And uh, for our producer, Aaron, this is episode number 87. And uh, to go out when we decide it'll go out, quiet on the set in three, two, so that I'm sight reading this. Sorry to screw up your countdown, but yeah, I'm yeah, sight reading. Fine. So I hope you haven't put we, we, anything we like an edit. anchor man. I'm just so terrified that you're going to put in something. You know where they snuck in the live read? No, no. And then you're, you're, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, you would do that. We threw to a me. couple penis jokes would, in. Oh god. <laughs> I am Naomi Brockwell. Uh, penis. Uh, no, it's not in there. Sorry, guys. All right. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Naomi Brockwell, Bitcoin girl. And I'm coming to you from D10E in Silicon Valley, where we are recording before a live studio audience. In this episode, you will discover how one Emmy Award winning producer is seeking to disrupt media. You'll also meet 10 people who are invited to provide their 30 second crypto pitch. There will be a high stakes competition in the crypto quiz show. I looked high and low to introduce you to the sexiest hosts in the crypto world, but since I couldn't locate them, instead, please welcome Travis Wright and Joel Com for episode 87 of the Bad Crypto Podcast. <laughs> Very nice, Naomi. Thank you. Well done, Travis. Mr. Wright, come here. on over here. Over here. Uh, oh. That'll then go into the music for the show, and we're going to do this the way that we, we always do, kind of by the seat of our pants. And for whatever reason, 
uh, that seems, and we're sitting. So and we're sitting, that's which is good. what we normally do. Okay. And we look at screens because we're going over news and whatnot. So this is real life. Okay, so here we go. Aaron, starting show in three, two. And welcome to the Bad Crypto Podcast live. Woo! Mr. Travis Wright. Yes, Mr. Joel Cotton. The road show is super fun, and we are here at D10E in Palo Alto, California. Yes, D10E, Silicon Valley. Lots of really amazing, smart, intelligent people here. Mostly dudes. Mostly dudes here <laughs> in Silicon Valley, it seems. We can fix it. That's why we, we had Bitcoin yes, Girl to, uh, to start to off There are becoming more and more crypto chicks out there, though, which is great. We dig the crypto chicks, and if you're offended by that then you're listening to the wrong show. So, <laughs> uh, This show is brought to you today by our friends at Alpha Networks. They are moving the future of media onto the blockchain, and you're going to learn a little bit more about that. Uh, this is the show for the crypto curious and the crypto serious, and uh, we try to bring a combination of Crypto hilarious. And crypto hilarious, yeah. yeah. Right. Except for uh, the fiat currency who occasionally calls into the bad crypto hotline. He is... Crypto furious. We actually have some amazing fans that do call in. We have a hotline. That number is uh, 708-885-9030. And some of our fans have actually called in with their own little shticks, yeah. which has been pretty funny. We had some grandma call in and... It's like, wait, my son's been buying all the Bitcoins. And his, so people are being creative and hilarious, and we're having a great time with it. So It's great fun. Uh, both Travis and I are marketers by trade. I've been building sites online since 1995, and Travis just got started yesterday. Mm -hmm. But he's written one book, and I've written 15. Yeah, I've written so. one fifteenth the amounts of books that he has. <laughs> so uh, you're kind of a bestseller. I'm... I'm an average seller. We'll get Although, you there, though. That's yeah, good, that's good. We'll get you there, though. And uh, we're, we're glad to be here with you guys. We're going to have some fun today. So with that, let's go into the latest news. And that's where uh, Aaron dropped the, the news transition music. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Travis Wright, do you want to fire up with the first one? Fire the first one. All right. So this was exciting this week, right? So Bitcoin price topped $10,000 across those major exchanges. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah. Bitcoin is back, baby. Yeah, and I noticed... This morning it went down below 10,000 again. Oh, it's dead. So Bitcoin it's over. is now officially dead, you guys. Pack so it in. This, this crypto yeah. thing is not going to work, I don't think. No, this whole blockchain thing, what a stupid idea. Yeah. I mean, this Whoever is, invented that, Satoshi, what a dummy. You people think you're going to change the world. No, it's not going to happen. No, we, we know it's here to stay. Uh, and the, I, I don't know about you guys, I, but Travis and I have talked. When Bitcoin fell, I was like, ah, eh, there it goes again. Okay, it'll be back. I mean, it sucks watching your portfolio bleed, right? Am I right? It sucks. But if you are true hodlers, as we are, Hodler's going to hodl. Hodl's going to hodl. It really sucks for those who just get on the crypto when it was like really high, like near 20 grand. And they were all like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get in. And then it goes down to six. Like there's people who were shitting bricks. You <laughs> They're know like, they were. when Lambo, when Moon. Yeah. Oh, how about a Kia instead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in your hey, backyard. I, I drive a Kia. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Bitcoin has finally passed that mark. And, and uh, you know, we are not financial advisors. Uh, we're not fashion advisors either. Although, what do you think of the cool bad crypto t-shirt? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, a couple people like that. They liked it. They that do. Was good. And uh, so we don't know where this thing is going, but uh, like most of you here, we believe that blockchain is going up, 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 and and that is a uh, a good thing. Uh, also in the news, this is kind of fun. As a um, longtime gamer, who here in the audience had an Atari Twenty Six Hundred? Yeah, a bunch. Who of here you, is you know. too young to have had one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few few years, you know. What, 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 what? I had Pong. Remember Pong? Of course I remember I love Pong. Pong. That was great. Dude, I, I remember going to the bowling alley and they had this machine called Pinball. <laughs> and you'd pull the plunger and the ball would go, <laughs> get off my lawn, you damn millennials. <laughs> well, here's the news. Atari is planning their own crypto launch uh, called, shocker, the Atari Token. Wow, so what does the Atari token do? I'm not even sure what the Atari token is. So they, uh, they acquired a 15% stake in a Gibraltar-based company, Infinity Networks, and they have licensed its brand to uh, the firm. So it looks like they're going to be utilizing some, some of their games yep. and uh, playing, 
peer-to-peer -to -peer gaming or something? Well, some peer-to-peer, -peer, but also uh, they're looking at a couple different tokens. Uh, one of them is uh, um, around casinos, interestingly mm. enough, so a, a true gaming token. But the other one here, it says they're going to launch the Pong token. The Pong token? Yeah, it's usable on, on gaming sites. <sighs> And so nice. some people are comparing it to, you know, Kodak Coin, an existing brand that we've all known for some time, finding a, a new way to be relevant yeah. in the space. Also, the Western Union Coin. No? <laughs> the, the Ford token. The FedEx Coin. <laughs> and the other old ass. The Coca-Cola Coin, are they coming to? Just don't all hold. All the old brands? Are don't hold your breath for the Bank of America Coin. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, one more story we've got that's fresh off the presses. And uh, who, who's holding some uh, Litecoin? Any Litecoin hodlers? Yeah, we love the lights. Love the Litecoin. Um, apparently, Litecoin Cash is coming your way. <laughs> there is a fork. Don't call it L Cash. <laughs> Dicks. Well, <laughs> Charlie says that Charlie Lee, of course, the founder of Litecoin and, and the greatest proponent, even though he sold all his, um, says that Litecoin Cash is a scam. That if you're holding Litecoin, you are going to get 10 L Cash for every Litecoin you hold. Uh, LCC is the new coin. I don't have a problem with getting free tokens. Yeah, I'll get a few of those. That'd be nice. We actually had Charlie Lee on the show mm -hmm. before he sold all of his tokens, literally. Is talked, that what made him do it? He talked to us, and he was like, oh, my God, these guys are in crypto now. Yeah, they got I am <laughs> selling all my Litecoin. <laughs> this is um, And I'm moving to Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with Brock Pierce. Uh, here's his tweet. <laughs> PSA, the Litecoin team and I are not forking Litecoin. Any forks that you hear about is a scam. Wouldn't that be any forks you hear about are a scam? Mm -hmm. Charlie, grammar. Trying to confuse you to think it's related to Litecoin. Don't fall for it and definitely don't enter your private keys or seed into their website or client. Be careful out there. Uh, so It's a bunch of forking nonsense. Right, Mr. Joel Kahn? I think so. Jameson Lopp, who was also on the show, went on Twitter, and he's poking fun at it as well. He's, he's managing to poke fun at uh, Roger Veer and, uh, and Bitcoin Cash. Bcash mm -hmm. uh, by taking advantage of the name. So I, I don't know. I'm not going to be putting my keys in. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, the thing is, is that I actually didn't call it Bcash until he got so pissed off about everybody calling it Bcash. <laughs> then I'm like, well, obviously it's called Bcash now <laughs> right. because that's how we are. We're because gonna, we're gonna Bcash, Bcash. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the news. Let's jump into our trifecta of features. Ooh. And that's where our producer will drop some cool music. And uh, we're going to have some super fun now. Uh, so those of you that we called on for the crypto pitch, maybe what we want to do so it's a little organized, why don't we have you come over here and line up in order of the, the numbers that we gave you, 1 through 10. Just come right over here. We're going to use a handheld right mic on. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're number one. one. Number two. So uh, say your number one. Say, let's, let's do them in order so we see all the numbers. Say two, who's two? Okay, come two. line up. Three. Line up. Four. Three. Come line up behind him. Five. Cinco. Six. Seis. In six. Siete. Who's six? We're bilingual. Six, okay. You guys self self regulate over here. Okay. Block blockchain this line. Nueve. Let's make it immutable. Okay. Uh seven. Eight. Eight. Okay, find where eight is in line there. Nine. Okay, you're behind number eight, because seven, eight, nine. And ten. Ten. Ten right there. Okay, football. perfect. Football. He's perfect. a football guy. Uh, you want to stay seated? I'll just, uh, what do you uh, want to do? I'll stand up. I'll, I'll stand up over here. Okay. <clears throat> um, and we'll use one of these handhelds. I'm picking up uh, number. Yes, yes. I'm going to be the timer. Number two. Test, 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 test. One, two. Check, 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 check. Perfect. Okay. Check it in, check one. Yeah, you're going to be the timer. Let's just move this aside for the sake of the set. You guys having fun? Perfect. Perfect. Are these on open bottles of water? These are on open bottles of water. Thank you, because I'm about to open one. That one is <coughs> like a... Uh, yeah, that's on open. Okay. I thirst. Those are fancy bottles of water. They're, I thirst. They're you, kind of like, like a Michelob Ultra. I get the fancy bottle of water, Mr. Travis, right? You get the commoner's water. Yes, that's great. Okay. So, let me set this down. And we All right, you're going to get 30 seconds to do your best pitch ever. And we're, he's going to time you. So. I'm going to time you. <laughs> All right. So and then when the time goes off, I'm going to go, Arr! get off the stage. I'm going to, like, kick you off. It'll be, it'll be violent. So, here's what, uh, let me do, we'll just roll. So, okay. uh, producer going in in three, two, one. 
And here we are still live at D10E. Check your pulse. We are still here. We have not moved. People on the, on the uh, crowd are like, what? Get on with this yeah, thing. There's nobody here. They're like, yeah. when lunch? When, <laughs> when, lunch. Food, when lunch? When lunch? When food? When <laughs> lunch? When food? When booze? When food? <laughs> <laughs> it is now time for the crypto pitch. Woo! We need like the big red applause light like they have mm. in the TV studios to cue people. That's what we need to do? Uh, that's what we need to do. So uh, what we have done is pre-selected 10 brave souls from the audience here at D10E, and they're going to come up one at a time, and they will have 30 seconds to deliver the best elevator speech of either their ICO or other crypto-related product. And uh, Travis is the buzzer. He will be conducting the time. And at the end of the time, a sound will be made that sounds like beep, 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 beep. OK, whatever sound he makes, it means your time is up. Um, and so we are going to begin with number one. And when we bring you up, say before your time starts, you're allowed to say your name and a website. And that's all. And then Travis will start your time. And you will impress everybody that is listening. Are you ready? Come on up, number one. Let's get ready to rumble. I got a mic number on my one. Number one. Facial thing. She's got all a right. facial thing. And I can say my name. It doesn't count up my time. So I can take count. as much oh, time time's as up. I can. Sorry. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, your, your hair is getting. Confagled right. with your yeah, Janet Jackson microphone. That's very nice. You're gonna do some Rhythm Nation. <laughs> as long as there's no like, wardrobe There's some functions. bad connotations there. Let's not do a Janet Jackson right now on stage. Okay, no, 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 you have the Janet Jackson microphone. Okay, no, no, I get time. So, and my website, uh, so YouTube, uh, if you go to Naomi Brockwell TV. Okay, Mr. Travis Ryan. All right, three, two, one. Hi everyone, I am a television producer. I produce for Fox Business and Fox News. I produce for John Stossel, 19 uh, Emmy Award winning uh, journalist who's absolutely amazing. I have a show that focuses on blockchain and crypto and tech and all those wonderful things. I do a lot of highlights of companies in the space. I interview CEOs. I look at new things that are happening, new techs that are evolving. So come check out my show. And I also wrote a children's book about three years ago called Billy's Bitcoin. So check out the things that are really fun and I still have some time. I'm left. I, God damn it. Oh, nice. All right. Smoke alarm oh. just went off. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Uh, Bitcoin Girl has actually been on an episode of the show about, what, three or so months ago, and, and we have invited her to be an occasional correspondent. So we'll, we'll be happy to welcome you back uh, anytime that Travis says it's okay. Okay, number two, come on up. Number two. Speak Hello. into the microphone, yes. please. Tell us your name and uh, your site. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, bad crypto. Hello, D10 E. My name is Tony Winders with Blockchain PR, and I'm here. Right. Okay, hey, ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two, go. Ninja, which we're announcing this week, is the first international communication app with its own built in cryptocurrency ecosystem and marketplace. So think an appli messaging application like Telegram meets a virtual on-demand marketplace like Upwork with its own token powered by NinjaCoin. We are launching the ICO now. We're in pre-sale. Public sale is April 17th. More information at ninja.biz. N-Y-N-J-A dot biz. Oh, yeah. I was, I was trying to take the mic from him all ninja-like. It didn't work. You're like, give me the damn mic, son. I, by the way, I know this is probably just my weird mind going to work, but don't doesn't this carpet here kind of look like crime scene, you know, tape does, around bodies or something? Jimmy Hoffa was buried here, I heard. <laughs> Number three, come on down. Number three. He's a very well-dressed man. In a world. Who are you? Uh, my name is Russell, uh, and the website, since I'm allowed to name this one, is tradinggene.io. Okay, go for it. It is what? Tradinggene.io. Very nice. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, do you know why I'm bald? That's because I uh, traded financial markets. The thing is that most part of the people lose money. How you can actually trade and not lose money, you need to use trading algorithms. Trading Genie is a platform where anyone can create their own algorithm and offer it to investors. And this is the only place where investors can invest in trading algorithms. We already have 300 creators, 2,000 tested algorithms. And actually, this is a time when you need to start earning money on financial markets rather than losing it. Very nice, very nice. There's time nice. left to spare. Give it up. Boom. Thank you kindly, good sir. Well done. Very nice. Very nice. And some of the ICO funds will be going to hair plugs for our friend so that he can have his hair, hair plugs. Come on up, me. number four. 
Number four. Number four. Michael Proper with Clear Foundation. Clearfoundation.io? Clear Clearfoundation.com. Clear oh, .io is already oh. so over. Co.nz. Dot com is the going, new We've already gone back around. We're back to the dot coms again. Okay, three, two, one, go. You ready? So we all basically have cell phones in our pockets, right? But we're here for blockchain. Do we have nodes at home? We basically provide infrastructure for you to deploy nodes and securely manage them. We currently have over 430,000 of them around the world, and we build a marketplace that all of these apps can actually fit into. We're grateful for the opportunity to be here. Very nice, oh, with 12 we're... seconds left to spare. Well Very done. nice. May I just note that he was so cool and composed, and you know, as he said that, it's like, yeah, my elevator speech, I'm not even gonna use the whole thing. Watch yeah. me. That's it's it. like I'm pretty much the coolest guy here, and um, talk to me later. Number five, come on up. Number? Second coolest guy here. Number five. To be determined. Thanks. Oh, first time I'm doing this. Cinco. Nervous. Okay, you got it. You <laughs> got it out. You're sweating. You're sweating. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's okay, though. It's I'm okay. just hot. You're just hot. <laughs> You're so hot. <laughs> Mugato. Okay. Oh. What's your name? And what's your website? Uh, Miguel Francis, RT Scriptolium. What RT was that? International. How do you spell that? RT. RT? Cryptolium. Cryptolium. Yes. It's a new element. Okay. It's an element, right? Cryptolium for petroleum. my bungle. Is that it's it? Petroleum, cryptolium, I don't know. How do you spell cryptolium? Imag imaginarium. Cryptolium. Liam. Yes. Cryptolium. All right, I'm asking questions. I shouldn't do that. Three, two, one, and go. Artis Cryptolium is a new documentary style weekly digest on everything in the world of blockchain, from the good, the bad, and the ugly, from stories of Bitcoin being robbed from you at gunpoint, to the amazing inspiration of companies like Faster collecting 10 million in 20 seconds. A new show that doesn't aim to ridicule, but inspire the collective future of this planet in the news segment of Artis Global, 700 million daily global digital reach. Thank you. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah, nice! Get an amen on that one. That was very Good nice. Good job. First timer. Yeah, nicely done. All right. He did not seem like a first timer. Dude. He rocked that mic, didn't he? No, he did rock that he mic. He rocked it. I'm dude, here. he was shaking I'm his here. hand. He was all like, yeah, chicka, chicka, boy. It was I'm like he was here. a Beastie Boy there for a minute. All right. Beastie Boys. Well, he was timing himself over there. Like, oh, <laughs> all right. What's your name and what's Enrique, your URL? Enrique Martinez, web capitalist with an S, dot com. Web capitalists. Yeah. I'm, an, I'm actually com. an advisor. I'm not even pitching a, you know, yeah, that's good. If, that's all wait, good with wait, us. Wait, if, if, if you were a true blockchain, a trendy business, you would have a Z instead of an S. Uh, and you would like skip a vowel I'll, somewhere. I'll, I'll have to change my whole company just for that. That's okay. good. You do that. That's good. <laughs> right? Z? We can advise for you. See, we're advisors too. <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Puerto Rico broke the record recently as the country that has been the longest without any electricity. People are dying every single day. And because of that, a lot of us, including myself, we're going over there, including solar blockchain technology to energize the whole island with the microgrids. If you're interested, please come and help us. Excellent. Wow, very nice, very nice. That was a 15 second pitch, good stuff. Thank well you, sir. done. With time left to spare, you can spend your extra uh, you 17 seconds on that guy right there. He's, he's curious. Excellent. Come on up, number seven, right? It's a crypto chick. Give it up Yay! for the crypto chick. Woo Hello, everybody. My name is Katya Geiger, and my website is baza.one. I do have Z. So How do you spell that? A true internet it's business. B A Z A dot one. Dot one. One and only. Yes. One and only. Excellent. Well, good luck. Three, two, one, go. Thank you very much. I am Katya Geiger. I'm a founder of um, Baza. It's IT recruitment ICO advisory company, and we help about seven companies during the last year to fill the advisory boards. And we are helping now um, about 15 companies to actually do that. We work together with Consensus and other good name, big names in the industry. And I'm happy to help you to find the best talent. And one day, I hope we'll, we'll actually index all the best crypto talent in the world. Very nice. Yes. All right. Well done. I think 30 seconds is, is too long. Like, it is? We, we should, like 28 seconds? Yeah, we should tell people you have 10 28 seconds. 28 second crypto pitch. He's not even waiting. He's like, let He's me He's like, up here. I'm number eight. Get out of my way. Number eight. What's your name? I'm Mike your Graves. I'm, uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of CashBet. CashBet. Coin.cashbet.com. Okay, okay, right on. And three, two, one. CashBet is the is the only crypto-ready, complete iGaming platform on the planet today. We are infrastructure for iGaming. We currently empower skill-based gaming, real money gaming, and social gaming. We're launching the CashBed coin to increase access, uh, increase our uh, uh, content distribution, and to solve the problems that are plaguing crypto casino, which are speed, trust, cost. We are the first crypto company to have a sponsorship with a major sports company, that's Arsenal, and I'm gonna have some very 
big news this afternoon at my pitch. Very nice, very, very nice. Cash or in pets. other words, he'll be back. Number nine. Hello everyone, this is Mehmet and it's also my first time and I am kind of nervous. He's a virgin. Time. So I am local here, I am from Cupertino. <laughs> So uh, our coin is for traffic coin. All the retailers want to. Oh, hold like, on a second. We haven't started you yet. Oh, okay. So what's your, your name? Mehmet. Don't, Mehmet. Fall, don't, don't fall off the, the back stage. there. I don't, yeah, don't, don't hit the blue lights. Don't don't the lights. And what's your URL? Uh, I am from uh, Federal Smart. How do you spell that? Federal uh, Smart. Dot US. Federal Smart. Dot US. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Sure. Uh, all the retailers food traffic. All the retailers want to food traffic in their retail stores, and we will bring Pokemon Go to retail stores. When the uh, retailer distribute the money, uh, people will come to the store and mine the coin with their smartphone. Hey. And we'll reduce the marketing cost via reducing the middle, middle mass. Right on. And what's your site again? Uh, Federal Smart. Federal Smart. But we US. don't have the like uh, coin website right now. I mean, we are building. Okay, they are building. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you very stuff. much. Give them Good applause. Stuff. And we have finally, one more. One more. Our last crypto pitch. Number, number ten. ten. Is, is this like? A, are you guys like a cell phone company? Do I get the rollover seconds? No. Since I'm at the end. No rollover. You cannot roll over. It's not singular. They're, they're, they're no longer exist. <laughs> we are the crypto medians here. Got so. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Sorab Faroudi, and I'm with uh, Fan Controlled Football League. F C F L. .io. FCFL.io. Three, two, one, go. We are building uh, the first real life video game. The Fan Controlled Football League is a real American football league where fans will control everything, including calling uh, all the plays in real time. Uh, with our fan token, uh, the more you own, the more power and access you will have to this league and the more control you'll have over the teams. Uh, this will be integrated on Twitch. We have a multi-year deal uh, with Twitch. Uh, we have CAA, Creative Arts Agency, representing the league. Um, and uh, we, are gonna, we believe the future of sports is interactive and uh, the network that we're building is going to also power fan-controlled baseball, fan-controlled <laughs> soccer, <laughs> fan-controlled <laughs> basketball, <laughs> etc. Well, I hear the 49ers need an offensive coordinator, they so do. just kind of crowdsource that shit. Yeah, and, and, and we actually already did this last year. So we owned a team, fans controlled it in Very Salt good. Lake City. Your time is up. Get off the stage. Uh, <laughs> Give it up for these guys. That was awesome. <laughs> That was fun. That was really good. There were some great ones there. Okay, we got some more great content. Let's bring our next guest up. Uh, Aaron, do a quick uh, drop there. Seth, why don't you come on up? We'll pull <laughs> the seats together here, and um, you'll use a handheld. Travis, you, where do you want to sit? Over I'll there. Sit, I'll yeah. sit. In the, he can sit in the middle? Yeah, come sit here. Grab this. You get grilled. All right. It's a Seth sandwich. We're going to make a Seth sandwich. It's going to be super. Jay's looking up. Okay, we need uh, audio oh, like on. Yeah. Do there we go. go. And do we have the other one? Uh, we, what, yeah. We're, we're good. good. Okay, yeah, good. you're good on that one. Those okay. So, uh, show note producer, this is uh, just transition into this. I'll do the intro. And hi, video guys with the cameras. Good to see you. Um, all right. Well, we mentioned that this uh, show is being brought to you by... Alpha Networks, and of course the folks at D10E, and we're privileged to have with us Seth Shapiro, Hollywood's leading expert on the digital medias, Mr. Travis Wright. This guy is a two-time, he's a two-timer, no, he's a two-time Emmy Award winner. And a two-timer. That's, that's different. And, and he's a governor at the Television Academy, where a he governor? helped redefine the Emmy Awards for the digital age by adding awards for social media, online content, VR, in innovation. Not only that. Wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. He's an adjunct professor at USC and was a key man in launching these products. Check this out. TiVo, DirecTV DVR, and the NFL's interactive service. He's got a list of clients you might have heard of, including Disney, Goldman Sachs, Comcast, Showtime, he's Time Warner, AT&T. Kind of wah, 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 wah. And in the blockchain world, he's head <laughs> of strategy for VideoCoin, advisor to Kodak Coin, WorkCoin, and eBoost. And right now, he's going to announce the pre-launch of a new blockchain media company that's set to disrupt all the media... The Alpha Networks. Welcome to the Bad Crypto Podcast, Mr. Seth Shapiro. Hello. Well, thank you. Polite golf clap. Yeah, that was nice. Hello, it's Mr. Jolcom. Hello, yes. Mr. Travis Wright. Hello, hello, Mr. Seth. We're, we're glad you're here. So, disrupting media, that is a, a big task. You've been in media for decades now, and you must have been a financial trader before. Yeah, I'm an options trader. It's a bad hobby, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're bald. Oh, yep. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? Call back. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Stole my bed. That'll throw back for those who are following along. Uh, so why does this industry need to be disrupted? 
Well, I think, you know, a lot of, thank you. Uh, there's a lot of things that go on that you don't notice till um, the opportunity to change it kind of presents itself. And we know banking is broken, but media is really broken. Like, um, people pay ridiculous amounts for cable, for channels that they never watch. The news doesn't really work. We all kind of know that. It's the same story over and over and over all day. Hashtag fake news. And all that. Um, uh, so there's all these inherent problems. Like there's people who do really great content like you guys. Now you guys, because of your, internet, your, your background in marketing, are doing a great job. You're making a living. But there's a lot of people who do really good stuff who can't really get it exposed. Travis is just about to move out of the alley into a one bedroom. Do you, yeah, do, do I got you, a new cardboard box. You have, you have a, a, like a lean-to, yeah, like well, a bivouac? I, I got a char it charged me $3,000 here in San Francisco for my cardboard box. <laughs> Excellent, that, that's a good deal. Um, and so, uh, like, I, I got into this, uh, I had two friends who've been in for a long time, Michael Turpin and Brock Pierce, who kinda- Heard of them. Enough, for kind enough to show me the ropes of this stuff and, uh, a couple years ago, and I, I think there's a way to uh, create a new kind of media uh, enterprise that really completely changes the face of it. So if you think about the things that we already have in the media business, it's like a broadcast model, there's a cable model, there's a podcast model, which you guys are great at. There's the uh, SVOD, Netflix kind of model. There's the online aggregation like YouTube. And they each have things that work, but none of them really work that well. Are you creating the blockchain model? Yes. Well, well funny you should say that. Oh. So the idea here is really, yeah, to create a model that uh, it sounds pretty simple, but, you know, that rewards good content, allows it to find bigger and bigger audiences, and builds it on the blockchain, you know, um, and tokenizes it. Right on. So how, how are you going about building this now? So are you going around and, like, connecting with all these existing creators and, and, and the technology platform that uh, you're building where, where are we at with that? Yeah, so like in my day job, we build these kind of things for like existing networks, like, you know, uh, Fox com companies or Comcast companies. And the, f the best platform, I think, is IBM's actually. So we're building it with IBM, with Cloud Player. And as you guys know, you know, Stellar Lumens was kind of a good thing for IBM. So they're interested in this space. And the team that we're working with actually has Watson AI in the oh. same group. So, yes. Very nice. so, so we're exploring some things with them. Um, and then on the content side, we're, pop we're, we're partnering with... Uh, one of the most successful uh, production companies in the world, Radical Media, who do tons of stuff for Netflix and have done every one of Lady Gaga's videos and represent Amex and BMW and American Express. And like once people get their head around the idea that you really could change this and like compensate people like artists based on what they're worth and aggregate this, con this content in one place without the kind of fetters that happen in the traditional media business of the FCC and all this stuff, I think you know, they get really excited. So you know, I think we're partnering with really great people. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit then about the timeline for this thing. You know, so many ICOs as they're coming out, <laughs> like, we're going to do this great thing and we'll start rolling it out in three years. Uh, so where are you with, with this? I got a white paper. I got a few words on an <coughs> open word document. Put some ink <laughs> on a white paper so it's a little bit more readable. Um, well, that's why we're here with you, right? That we want to partner with people like you. And the idea of calling it alpha was not uh, like, it's like first. Alpha's first, and our the, kind of the concept is it's a big lab, and we're going to work with interesting people, and we're going to figure it out. So our CTO is the acting CTO of EOS, and uh, you know um, we have really great people who are experts in different areas that will announce more as, in the in the days to come. But this is sort of our first foray into the world with you guys because I love what you guys do, and you're kind of an example of the kind of stuff you I'd like to see more of. The sweetest oh, things. don't you die. Do. Oh, so you. This video is actually, for those of you that are here live, this is being shot for Alpha Networks, and, and there are going to be people that want to bring their content to this because there's really just a monopoly Right. If you don't uh, adhere to YouTube's rules, if you don't get yourself onto Netflix or Hulu, it's like, how do people find? They demonetize you, right? They well, yeah. I mean, your it, earning potential. And in this space, it's a, it's a, a really big problem because there's censorship generally in all these platforms. But as you know, Facebook has already killed crypto ads. YouTube has uh, delisted and, and given uh, you know flags to a number of people that I know, like who are now wondering they spent all this time building their channel and their livelihood is threatened because you know these places can kind of unilaterally say you're done. So we want you all to come to us and, and we'll work with you and we'll find a home for you, you know, for honest, real, authentic information. And in the crypto space, it's even more complicated because like most of us are in the situation where somebody's uncle wants to trade and they don't. So if, if you're lucky enough to be Mr. Joel Com's uh, uncle, then they can turn to you. But where does everybody else go? He doesn't go to know him? he's so lucky. Yeah, he well, I'll yeah. tell him. I'll call him after this. <laughs> but so we want to really give people honest training and education and information uh, about this stuff and help onboard more people into this world. 
Um, and there's a lot of scams out there, so I think, you know, that's a service that we could provide. Right on. So, uh, just to kind of wrap this up here, so you've raised some money, right? Yes. Are you doing Are you doing a token sale? How's the, what's What's going on with uh, with that part of it? So this is actually our first foray into the world. Hello, world. Um, and and we're we're seeded by uh, a fund that I work with called Alphabet Fund in the UAE. So I have some money to start, it's like working with you guys. And then uh, in March in Puerto Rico, we'll start the roadshow. Um, if you're interested in learning more, you can email me at info at Seth. Shapiro.com for now, and then when we launch the Alpha Network site, I would love to come back and chat with you boys some more. And part of what we want to do is send you guys around the world on a world tour, working with us on a whole bunch of stuff. So hopefully we'll we'll be back on the stage again uh, pretty soon. Sounds like great fun. Give it up for Seth Shapiro, Alpha Networks. Okay, um, great. And uh, Aaron, just go ahead and do the bumper, bumper music from that, and we'll do our last segment. Probably need a few extra minutes there. Two minutes. Bitcoin, minutes, minutes. That should do it. Okay, so who, who are the three contestants? Come on One up contestant here. One contestant right there. We got virtual growth right there. We got Bryce right there. And you've got the questions. I right? do have the You're questions. Doing them. Okay, so we're not going to use the chairs for this. Gonna I'm just going to drop it gonna like it's hot. Phone. phone, here we go. We've got a few good questions here. Come on up, guys, and we'll do the introductions and all that. Let's have you stand. Uh, for lighting, is it okay right here, camera dudes? Yeah. Is good? Perfect. Okay. So let's uh, have you stand right here. That's good. Right here and right there. Perfect. We got three mics, so there's a mic. Yeah, so everybody get, you get a mic. And you get a mic. And, Make sure the mic is on. Uh, go ahead and give the audio guys a test right here. Check. 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 <laughs> nope. Aww. It's on, though. Try it again. Check. All right. Keep trying. Check, check. Maybe it just needs the right voice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> magic. Check, okay. Check, check. Magic. All right. So uh, shove over just a little bit. Okay. There, big I'm guy. scooching on over. No. He hates KC, by the way. Yep. He just wears this to spite. There's actually no. He's got a flat top under the head, but nobody knows because he always wears it. Okay. Utah lies. Uh, going into we're calling the crypto quiz show, crypto, right? Crypto okay. quiz show. All right. Um, in three, two. And we're back with the crypto quiz show. Yeah. Who's ready to answer some questions? <laughs> Let's do it. Two okay. people applauded. Yes, they are That's good. so stoked. Yeah. They're what? like, get ready, get done. We need lunch. <laughs> right. So uh, what we've done is we've selected three victims, I mean participants, to, uh, to come up and answer crypto questions. All three of them have said that they are knowledgeable in the crypto space, Mr. Travis. They right? self-identified as knowledgeable. As, as knowledgeable. Um, Never said that. So we're gonna we're gonna find out if they are, and we have some prizes for uh, for those. Uh, I think we're gonna do ten questions. Okay, okay. we'll ten do ten. Questions. We'll do Depending. ten questions, and um, we need each of you to have a buzzer sound. Okay, so hold the mic up and give me your uh, first. Tell us your name. Sure, my name is Bryce. And give us your best buzzer sound. Beep. Okay, your beep. My name is Shams, and um, buzz. 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 That was smooth. Buzz. Buzz, smooth baby. jazz buzz. <laughs> Virtual growth. Zulf. Zulf? <laughs> All right, we'll go with the buzz. Zulf, though. I, and I'm digging Zulf. Zulf. Like Zulf. You like the Zulf? Yeah, I'm good Zulf. with that. Zulf. 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 So since uh, we don't have any official way to measure who's first, if there's, it looks like there's a tie or something, you guys will help be the judge. But you're going to want to, as soon as you hear the question, make your buzz sound, and then you'll answer once we direct who's, who's got it. Okay, so y'all, you, you can like be one of our judges here. Help us make sure that we identify the so you correct. Say you sound. Don't say your sound and the answer. It's first, your and, sound. And um, we need a scorekeeper. Who would like to keep score for us? Something. You, if you have this thing called scorekeeper, a I can right keep here. score. Oh, scorekeeper, right here. Okay, great. Uh, let's get started. What What are the prizes? Uh, I think what, the, what was the prizes? We we're gonna do. I uh, heard there was some lumens. Okay. Lumens. First prize, 500 lumens. Ooh. Lumens trading about what 45, 45 cents right now. Yeah. We still got some of those to give away. Second prize, uh, even though it sounds like more, it's not. It's a million bad coin, which is the uh, entirely worthless token of the Bad Crypto <laughs> Podcast. It's going to the moon though. Has no utility whatsoever. It <laughs> exists, and we like to give it away. And third prize is, ah. Because everybody doesn't win. No participation yeah, trophies there's no participation here. participation trophies in life, <laughs> yeah. you guys. So with that, let's get started. Mr. Travis Wright's got the questions. Right. He will ask them, and it's the crypto quiz. Right on. The first question is, what event gave life to Ethereum Classic? Buzz. Um, the, Dow, the Dow hack. 
That's right, the Dow Hard Fork. The Very Dow good. Hard Fork, well played. Wow. One point One to our point friend. Right there. He's quick. To Mr. I'm just going to call you Buzz. Buzz. That's your new name, Buzz. All right. Buzz Number like two. Here. Number two. All right, we're going to ask each one of you the, 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 the question here. Whoever is closest will win this one. What is Bitcoin's all-time high? 19,900. Um, 20,150. 20,200. All right, so the number that we had uh, from, because there were different ones at different exchanges, but the average was $19,902.40. Off by $2, Man. not bad. So he gets a point. <laughs> he, got, he got the point. You got a point. Very nice. Way Very to go. Very nicely done. Okay, question number three. Question number three. Name the two top cryptocurrencies that Jed McCaleb co-founded. Be uh, Stellar and Ripple. That is, hey, that is correct. Stellar and Ripple. Woo. Well played. Another there. point for Bryce here. All right, here we go. So name the three cryptos that Dan Larimer founded. Be Buzz. Ooh. 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 What, here? Buzz? Buzz was first. Oh. Okay, what are they? Uh, bit shares. What'd you call me? <laughs> oh. I'm a loser. <laughs> bit shares, Steam it, and EOS. Oh, oh, he's wearing the shirt. Oh, well played. The man gets a point. Representing. Nicely done. Okay. All right, let's see. So here. the score right now, what, what do we have, official scorekeeper? One, one, two. One, one, and two. And uh, one, two, and one. One, two, one. Okay. One, two, one. All right, this is a close one. All right, so at the end of every episode of Bad Crypto, we say something. Speep, stay bad. Oh, that's well correct. played. Nicely oh. done. All right, not fair for somebody who has not seen the show. All right, next question. What is the name of the Bitcoin fork that Roger Ver just Beep. was all over himself Bitcoin about? Bitcoin Cash. Biz? Who said Biz? Who said it? Buzz Biz? Wait, wait, who, who was it? Is it him? Okay, we're going to oh, go with, with I think it was it? him. Is what? Bitcoin Cash. Eh, that's incorrect. It's Bcash. <laughs> so, no point. Triggered. No point he, he gets a point. Though. He gets a point? He gets a point. You gotta give a yeah, point. you get okay, a point. Okay. Point. okay. All right, here's a question here. What market has the highest daily trading volume? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Well, I haven't answered. I haven't given you multiple choices. You Buzz. Got? What is it? Buzz? Finance. And that's not it. I haven't finished the question. Uh, Has the highest one, the crypto market cap, the Forex market, the stock market, or the futures market? Forex. Zaf. Zaf. Forex. Forex. That is correct. Hey, VG's on the board. Right He's on, got one. Right okay, on. what number are we at? Um, uh, I'm not sure what number we're at. What, what points are we? I skipped a couple questions because I have more than we need. Two, two. Three, two, two. All right, so, so seven. seven. So Three more questions. Question eight. All right. Question number eight. What is the first country that banned Bitcoin? Deep. Him? Buzz. Buzz. China. Ah, that is not correct. Who else wants to buzz in? You can't lose anything. Uh, South Korea? Well, you already guessed. You already guessed. You're not gonna... <laughs> you already got buzzed, You're not going to guess twice, you guys. It's not that game. It wasn't South Korea, was it? Not South Korea. Okay. Gentlemen, care to take a guess? No. Thought you guys were crypto <laughs> experts. What's the deal? Uh, beep. Ecuador? Oh, that is really close. It was Bolivia. Uh, oh, nobody gets a point nobody on that gets one. Nobody gets a point on that one. All right. Number, All right. number nine. This is a layup here. On May 22nd, 2010, Laszlo Hanez made the first real world transaction by buying beep. what? Zub. Zub. Pizza. Zub. Zub. Pizza. Yes, two pizzas. Well, I don't know. Two pizzas. Can you that to him? <laughs> pizza? It's pizza. plural. Pizza, pizzas, two pizzas, pizzas, plural. Pizzas, it was Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, All right. It was two. Actually, it's Papa John's. All right. And final question. All right. So, let's see here. Who was the very first person to receive the first Bitcoin transaction? Zell Beep. Hal Finley. Oh, I got the point. Oh, sorry. Oh, you got it? Um, Is this up? Yeah. It did sound like Zub. He gets it. Well, you've already won. It doesn't matter. You already won. He's right won. On. Give it up for Give Bryce, our winner. Give it up for Buzz and for virtual growth. Thank yes. you. Growth. Well done. Very we'll, nice. we'll get with you guys to uh, to award you your your tokens and everything. And thanks so much for joining us for this episode of the Bad Crypto Podcast. Badcryptopodcast.com is the website, and you can find us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, all the places that you like to put podcasts in your ears. And Mr. Travis Wright, what do they need to do until next time? Well, first of all, 
you need to stay bad. And then you need to go eat lunch. Not yet. Not yet? Not okay, yet. not yet. You're um, going to eat lunch almost. much later. Okay, give us, give us one more cheer for the, the final. Just one, two, three. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Uh, we are done. Miss Naomi, back to you. Thanks, guys, and thank you thank all. You, thank you, Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome.